In those days, at least I wasn't sophisticated enough to think about going to galleries to buy art. Little by little, a lot of us realized that, that we could meet artists and we could make decisions about purchasing art. Then that was partly what caused both of us to start collecting art, too. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't just well, it was all wonderful friends, but then the artists become your friends. We have a, a series of Maplethorpe portraits of our family because I met Robert here. Mm -hmm. And he gave a talk about how he wanted everything he photographed to be beautiful. And I thought, that's just the person I want to take my portrait. So he took my portrait and, and all of our four daughters and my husband. And they're a really wonderful thing to have in our house. And mm -hmm. then when Patty Smith was here for her exhibition, I was able to take Patty through our house and show her Robert's photographs. And that, that was really kind of a thrilling moment to be able to make that connection. It's kind of gets in your, you know, your blood because once you, uh, you have the painting, then you, you still have the person who painted it in a way. I mean, you know, you think of them. It's not to me just collecting, it's, it's so much more. I mean, it's so much about what you talked so beautifully about the interaction with the artist. You've seen some of the things <laughs> hanging around my house, but I enjoy them every single day. It's probably e even uh, easier to, to get to know them here in Houston than if we were up there in, in New York. We would be way behind in a list of major collectors in New York, but in Houston, we're not. Whatever amount of money you could give to the CAM, you really got all the bang for your buck you could think of here. And uh, it is still the case. Mm -hmm.